So looking ahead now, Dev, how do you think AI will further shape the product marketing landscape in general, especially when it comes to customer success and customer retention strategies? Um, like I said, right, it all comes down to data. So if we can back up what we are doing with the right data, I think we can also create that futuristic forecast, right? Um, a lot of the work that we do in retention is building that platform adoption. So this, what you're seeing here is a mock dashboard, but what I wanted to understand as product marketing is how am I connecting the dots across everything? So the first half is looking at my web pages. If I'm looking at specific products in the portfolio, if I'm thinking about specific industries, specific solutions, how does that apply and what does that look like? The next part is thinking about how is my content performing? What are my top blogs, top videos, webinars? And then also thinking about any new assets we have created, case studies and customer stories that we have brought together. Look at new markets, look at competitive intelligence. And then the last part is tying it back to the respective team, right? So I'm thinking about product usage and adoption. How, does, how is that coming together? Product launches, solution launches, understanding my buyer persona. Maybe I'm going after a new buyer persona that doesn't exist in my database today. What does that audience growth look like? This is directly tied to some of the retention and upsell and cross-sell we do. Looking at your sales revenue, looking at marketing attribution channels, all of this allows us to be better um, and smarter in some of the decision-making and then allowing AI to kind of complement some of that, right? A lot of the number crunching, data crunching, um, I, as long as I have the right data sources, I can leverage some of ChatGPT to help me drive some of that. Uh, what does future look like? What sort of customer success program should I be thinking? What does retention look like? How can I drive my customer lifetime value? And maybe what industry should I focus on based on the success that we have seen with some of our top customers? So those are things to consider. Yeah, that's, that's absolutely, um, these are interesting insights. Thank you for sharing. Uh, 